What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to The Calling. This is a short, story-based side-scroller that was made for a weekly game jam, and judging by the name alone, and the diving suit here, I have a feeling we might be dealing with some Cthulhu or Lovecraftian stuff, but... I, uh, I wanted to see what was going on here. It looked, it looked pretty interesting, so let's just dive in. Readings indicate an opening in the Atlantic. Perhaps this is where it's been hiding all along. Charles Douglas, o oceanographer and professional diver from MIT. I guess I'll have to give him a visit. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about ourselves there for a second. Oh god, we're just right into the submarine? Okay. Uh, WSD. Drive the submarine. Or walk, jump, and crouch with the WSD keys. Press E to get in and out of your submarine. Look alive, Charles. Sonar indicates that whatever we're looking for down here... Or that whatever we're looking for is down here. Let's test out that equipment. Alright. Oh! I have a gun! Why do I have a gun? Um... Are we just, are we diving down? Doesn't seem to be anything down here. Try another way. If you're stuck, press the E key to call your submarine. Or the R key to restart. Okay. This tunnel seems to be too small to use a submarine to get through. Try, didn't, can't we like, is that where we're going through? Can't I like get out? Whoa, look at me. I'm a tiny little diver man. Yeah! Okay! Hi! Hello, world! It's very dark down here. Something doesn't feel right. The water is pitch black. The spotlight's all we have. Stay alert. Press W key to crouch. I can do that. Okay. That gap looks too big to jump over. Press E to call your submarine. What? Can it get through that tiny gap? Whoa! Submarine, bro! You're like a little transformer with your morph ball and shit. Holy crap! Okay, guess we're not going down there. Uh... It, it's pretty claustrophobic down here. Mouse? Mouse, will you come back, please? Mouse? There you are, Mouse. Thank you. Uh, the wreck of the Santa de Fe. We're right on the path. Uh, we are on the right path. Santa de Fe? A Spanish ship from 1702. It disappeared in the Atlantic. Only one sailor survived, but he went crazy from what he saw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely... Definitely feels like some otherworldly horrors here. Use left click to shoot bullets. Shonar shows multiple targets ahead. Look at those creatures. I've never seen anything like them up close. Marvelous. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh! Oh god! Okay, we've got squids. And uh, judging by the size of the submarine, they're pretty fucking big. Okay, okay, nope, 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 nope. Okay, 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 okay. This is really, really tight. Did I miss some dialogue? I feel like I might have. Okay, yep, we. Okay, what? Um. What's going on in here? Oh, looks like an old storage room in the ship. It's completely untouched for centuries. This is amazing. Um, is this just a dead end? Oh, there's like a little chesty chest down here. Come here, chest. You will be mine. Yeah. There we go. Hi there. Get close to the chest and press the E key to open it. There's an old chest in here. I'm going to try to open it. Be careful with that. It might be rigged. It's rigged, isn't it? Can I can I just like not open it then? Can we just can we not can we not do that then? You know, the the safe thing to do. Yeah, that's some rumbles. Okay, rumble stiltskin. Do you hear that? It sounds like an earthquake. We better get out of here. Okay. Let's let's just make our quick escape. Find a different way out, other than the way you came in. 
Earthquake caused part of the ship to collapse on itself. It looks like we're going to have to find another way out. Look, a new path's been created out of the destruction, but it goes further down into the abyss. No! Let's not go further down into the abyss. Should you stare into the abyss for long enough and the abyss stares back into you? Something along those lines? Looks like the ship was ripped apart by something. Legend has it it was sunk by Cthulhu himself. Do you actually believe that? Anyway, whatever did this, it must be huge. Uh, uh, hmm, you know? Maybe we shouldn't be invoking the names of otherworldly horrors as we descend deeper into the unknown depths. What is going on down here? Is this the ship's hull? Did I just miss something? No. It's kind of difficult to, to keep an eye on both the ship and the text at the same time. So it'd be nice if there wasn't any, like, drift while there was text going on. Um... It does not look like there's a way out of here. I think we've gotten ourselves into a pretty sticky situation here, everyone. What the fuck is going on? Hold up, let's... Wait a minute, I can't... I can't get out. And we are back. I, uh... uh <laughs> this is a day later. Um, I, uh, reached out to the devs on Itch.io and, uh, you know, realizing that there wasn't anything to do after that last room. And apparently, this is a Game Jam title that, uh, wasn't quite finished yet. And because of that, there was no boss in the boss room. But we are back, and I, uh, I think this is just gonna be the very end of the game. But, oh, holy shit! Uh, New is hiding here all along. This is my life's mission, you can't stop me. Oh my god! Okay, we're actually fighting Cthulhu. Cthulhu, Cthulhu. Oh, holy shit! Okay, so, does like a specific spot hurt him? As opposed to like... Okay, no, no, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, is there is there some sort of, like, indication here? Whoa, no, 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 we can't get hit again. <laughs> so, uh, truthfully, the, the final boss was a little anticlimactic, especially, uh, I think I'm in kind of a unique situation that I had to come back and replay the entire game just to get back to that, but... I really liked it. The intro screen music was probably a little off, and I think it's really off for me to still remember that that's <laughs> that was a thing. But like, they absolutely nailed the atmosphere, and uh, until we got to the shooty bits, the real feeling of helplessness being down there in a submersible or a submarine, whatever our amazing contraption was that we could call through the the different areas that could fit through sizes that, uh, you know, were the same size as us. Definitely a unique experience for what I've played from game jams before, and I, I really liked it, even though it was very short and somewhat minimal. That's That's what ends up happening with game jams. But this has been The Calling, which I understand why it's called that now. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.